Check this out. <laughs> That's him, all right. He's a big one. Stay close. Now we got something, boys. I want all hands on deck. Get them nets ready. He's on a run. There he is! Hold your fire. I want him alive. Where'd he go? He broke through, Mr. Silverwood. Look out. No, he didn't. He snagged. Break out a new net. He went underneath. All right. It's just you and me now. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, huh? <laughs> now you show me what you got. I'm gonna get you, Swanner. If it's the last thing I ever do. I cannot wait to ride a devil's drop. Do you realize how cool this thing is? You cannot keep me off that. Psh, whatever, dude. Last time you went, you puked pizza all over the place. It was a corn dog. Oh, sorry. Just do us all a favor this time, huh? And stick to the bumper guys. Oh, hey, there's Dad. Yeah, hey. Right. <laughs> hey. Hey, hold on one second, guys. One second. Hey, Albeck. So the settlement conference was a bust. No, I just pulled into my driveway. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey. Dad, I hey. can't wait. I'm gonna be on Devil's Drop hey. all day. Listen, listen, guys. Uh, you know, I'm really sorry, but uh, something important's come up at the office. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cancel. I don't believe this. I really don't believe this, Dad. We'll do it another time. I promise you. Dad, this is the other time. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Here. Come on, take it. Come on, have yourself some fun. What? What's it gonna take? Come on. Come on, come on. Have yourself some fun. I'm really sorry, but I gotta do this now. It's real important, okay? Hey, next weekend. Don't make any plans. Tell Mom I'll be back in a couple hours. How do you like that? Hey, can I hang with you? No, buzz off. Find your own friends. Oh, come on. None of my friends are as witty and charming as you. Man, come on. I paid a buck fifty for that, dude. Check this out. Man, this is the new Seizure CD. Yeah. Man, how'd you get this? This had to set you back a couple bucks, man. Not when you got a five-finger discount. Yeah. 
Let's go open up our own account. Hey, Hotshot. What do you think you're going, huh? I'm sorry, that's not the color I ordered. I ordered the eggplant chiffon. Hem lines are up this week, so please shorten that. Hello? Yes, this is Bonnie Mason. Is something wrong, officer? Roger did what? You know, you have no idea how furious I am Will with you. Will you just chill out, please? It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. You were caught stealing. I just don't know what's gotten into you lately. Mom, this is like regular teenage stuff. I'm just having a little fun with my friends. And that's another thing. I don't particularly care for these so-called friends of yours you're hanging around with. Yeah, right. You don't even know who they are. I know that you got caught tagging with them, and, and, and now this. People's Court, now in session. That's enough, Travis. You know what? You're no angel either. Hello? Oh, uh, hi, Debbie. Um, uh, hold on. Look, this is a, a very important call. We'll finish this discussion when your father comes home, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. By the time Perry Mason gets home from work, I'll be getting home from work. Mom, can I go to Vegas? Yeah, sure. What? No, that's not the color I ordered. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Roger. Thanks for not ratting us out at that record store, man. Yeah. Oh, no problem, dude. This bird don't sing. Don't you worry about that. Hey, you know what? Let's screw this. Let's take a break, huh? Yeah, I hear you, man. <sighs> so did you get much in from your parents? No, not really. It's the same old thing, you know? They start bugging me, and then next thing you know, they get a call from work, and I'm making tracks. Man, you get off easy. Not really. I'm going to have to miss band practice. I'm sorry, man. They got mailed with this stupid, bogus family counseling. I don't know. Oh, don't even worry about it. Just go in there, tell the shrink that you're sorry, and that you'll never do it again. I'm, I'm really sorry, and I'm never gonna do it again. I mean... Very good. Roger, Travis, I would like to speak to your parents alone. Would you please wait outside? Conclusively advocate the two of you re-examine your motivations. The relationships with your offspring need to be cultivated with new dynamics. Your responsibilities have to be nurtured through a complex and systematic redevelopment process. What exactly does that mean? Spend more time with your kids. What are we gonna do? Roger seems completely out of control. Bonnie, I, I, am, I am up to my neck in legal briefs. I have a very important trial coming up, and I, I mean, I can't even think straight now. Okay, fine. Then you know what? I've decided that I'm gonna send the boys to my dad's for the summer. They, they need some kind of supervision. Oh, come on, I can't believe what I'm hearing. What, are you gonna send them the bills? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, he's not exactly Mr. Rogers. You both got your hands. You still want to take this up there with you, don't you? I can't wait to see Grandpa. Why? We hardly even know the guy. Just sounds to me like you guys are trying to ditch us. Oh, That's come on. That's true. Your dad and I just need some time to get our priorities right now. Hey, come on. Besides, you boys are going to have a great time up there. <laughs> with him? Yeah, right. Well, just take care of your brother, OK? Make sure you watch after him. All right, be careful. Well, I sure hope you know what you're doing. It's better than doing nothing.
that be Grandpa? Yeah, with our luck it is. Don't like to do it up, Obi. <laughs> no way, Jose. Okay. Well, I'm not waiting around here all day, so. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Bill Cullen? Who's asking? Oh, I'm Beavis. This is Butthead. Well, I guess that makes me Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty who? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, grab your gear and let's get out of here. I hate airports. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. What do kids do around here for fun? There's plenty to do. I just have to take a look, Travis. I'm Roger. And I'm looking. I don't see anything. I'm not surprised. Oh, Rod, check it out in an amusement park. Oh, there is a god. I just hope they have a video arcade. Yeah, that amusement park is owned by Bailey Silverwood. It used to be Larson's Dairy Farm until Bailey got his greedy hands on it. Bailey's a saint in my book. <laughs> uh, that devil had his way. He'd make it look like Las Vegas. Vegas? I love Vegas. <laughs> After I get my hands on Bill's land, the crown jewel of my empire. Crown jewel. Excellent terminology, Uncle Bailey. I'm gonna set the marina right down over there. Put the condos up on that hill. Right there, I'm gonna put the golf course just set to the side of the hotel. Impeccable planning, sir. You are a visionary. A pioneer. It's a shame Bill's not selling, though. Will you let me take care of that? I get through a bill. I'd be dying to sell that land. Yes, Uncle Bill. I ain't your uncle. Well, typically, so you are, because when you decided to wed my father's sister, you became his brother-in-law, and since I'm his son... What are you jabbering about? Never mind, sir. Population 300? There's more people on Gilligan's Island. Hey, Grandpa, what's that swanee thing all about? There's an old Indian myth about a creature being sent by the spirits to protect Swanson Lake. Wow, I love a good myth. Yeah, not only that, but a fisherman claimed he saw that creature fly. <laughs> Why? That's what myths are all about. Some people believe it, and some people don't believe it. Looks like another hick town with a bogus legend to me. Who's that? That's Susan Clark and her brother Ernie. Good folks. So, uh, what's Susan's story? Susan's story is that she lives next door. The end. I might just read that book. Wow. You live here? All my life. This land, my boy, has been in the Cullen family for five generations. And I hope your ma has the good sense to keep it that way. <laughs> That? Sound of greed, my boy. Where are you going? Nowhere. Hey, Bill, you got a minute? I got no time for you, Bailey, and you're trespassing on my property. Well, now, don't go hurrying off now, Bill. I'd like you to take a good hard look at my generous offer. You know, Bill, why don't you face it? You're just getting too old for this land here. I told you I'm going to live, die, and be buried on this land. Well, I could make that part of the deal, Bill. If I was you, I'd just start packing. Boys, don't get too comfortable. Have no mind, boys. Come on. Come on in, fellas. Right this way. Yeah, this way you're gonna bunk right up here. Yeah, now once you get unpacked, I want you to meet me by the barn. <laughs> I got something special I want you to do with me. Hey, Grandpa. You doing a little painting? Are you kidding? I hate painting. 
This is bogus, dude. I swear, this is like child abuse. I think it's kind of fun, Huck. <laughs> fun, huh? Watch out, I'll show you fun. This sucks. There's fun for you. Okay. Hey, look at here. You guys are coming right along. Huh. You forgot to dot the eye. Doggone it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You like smoking? Wait a minute. Don't smoke that junk. I was given a cigar yesterday by a friend of mine. Here, try something good now. Go on, light up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold this. All right. Ah, uh, sure. Then nothing like a good stogie, boy. Smooth everything, oh, huh? Got that right. Absolutely. <laughs> Smoke it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, huh? <laughs> <coughs> oh God. Wait, what's the matter? Um, Wait. I, that's that's it. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> oh. Sounds like our boy just gave up smoking. Well, how? I've been trying to get him to quit for years. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah, boy, you're bruising all that fruit. Yeah, well, it's too much work to walk all the way over there. Well, hard work builds character. Never hurt a soul. Hard work's for losers. See, I'm a rock musician. Yeah, well, it takes plenty of hard work to be anything, even a loser. So if I was you, I'd start filling those crates. And then if you want to sing, be my guest, loser. Mmm. Grandpa, this meatloaf is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right, if you like prison food. Well, now, how would you know what prison food tastes like? Oh, I've had my run-ins with the law. Yeah, Grandpa. He was public enemy number two. Well, that's nothing to be proud of, boy. If I were you, I'd work on shaping up. Just keeping it real, Warden. Yeah, well, keep it real and wash these dishes when you finish eating. I got business to tend to. Billy Bob's a lot of laughs. What was that? Hmm? Quiet down. I don't want the boys to hear you. Travis. Oh. Come here. Come here. Look. Quiet down now. All right, I know you're hungry. Easy. Where do you think he could be going? Got no clue. Let's go check it out, though. Grab your jacket. All right. You scared? No, I'm cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Cold. Where do you think he went? Guess up in those bushes right there. Roger, what do you think was making that noise out there? How should I know, dude? It sounded like a hippo. Oh, a hippo, huh? Look, we're not in Africa, Tarzan. See, the thing that freaks me out is who the hell was that old man talking to? The guy gives me the creeps. What do you think was in that sack? Yes. Yeah, Probably some little kid. Cut him up in little pieces and went to bury him in the backyard. Good night.
Travis, are you okay? Roger, ow, oh, help. I'm stuck. Grandpa! I'm coming! What's the matter here? He's stuck. Well, then let's get him out. Come on. Help, help, help! Uh, Come on, you make it all right? Hey, uh, uh, boy. How are you? You okay? I'm okay. Just shaking. How in the devil did this happen? Clean cut. You son of a god! I... What's the matter, Grandpa? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, go back to your chores, boys. Go ahead. Hey, you boys remind me of your mom with us. She was stacking hay. <laughs> Mom stacked hay? She was the best stacker in two counties. <laughs> Listen, I have to go into town. Now, after you get all this cleaned up around here, I want you to go out and feed the chickens. Watch that red rooster. He's a horse. I'll tell you. Now, if you have any trouble with those cows, milk them, OK? See you later. Hey, where are you going? Come on, dude. This is our vacation, all right? And Jed Clampett's in Hooterville, so I'm out of here. But we're not done. You heard what Grandpa said. Come on, dude. I'll be at the lake, all right? Hold my calls. You know, this place isn't so bad. Yeah, you know, if Grandpa wasn't so weird, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> Roger. Stop fooling around, man. What are you talking about? Did you just feel something? Uh, you know, it's probably just a catfish. Yeah, catfish. You think? No, it was a man-eating clam. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. You're such a chicken, Travis. Well, how do you boys like the country so far? <laughs> Fast pace is killing me. <laughs> well, us country folks do things a little different up here. We all work our fair share. So when I agreed to let you boys come up here, I was hoping you'd understand that. Why, what's the problem? Well, you boys aren't carrying your weight around here. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because, uh, I'm getting sick and tired of all this work. So as of right now, I'm going on disability. Ah. Well, if you don't work, you don't eat. And that's the truth. You got a problem with that? No, no, I've got a problem with you. All right, this place sucks, and that's the truth. So uh, you can take your work and shove it. I guess I just don't understand kids today. What a waste. He had so much potential. <laughs> Hello. Bonnie! Oh, yes. Fine and dandy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know what, Dad? I'm really glad to hear it. I was afraid the boys would be a little bit of a handful. Okay, I love you, Dad. Looks like you were right. Yeah. Sounds like the boys are having a good time up there. I am getting out of here. I don't have to take any more of that guy's crap. He's not that bad, Roger. Okay, then you stay around and do his chores now. Maybe I will. Fine then, Travis. Why don't you stay up here in the middle of nowhere with that freak of an old man out there so he can cut you up a million pieces and uh, bury you in the backyard, okay? And when you find out what that thing is in the lake, let me know. Okay, I'll go. All right, let's get jamming then. Did you hear something? Yeah, I did, it's called thunder. 
No, no, it's something else. Will you shut up? You're giving me a ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, Roger, I'm stuck, man. You're stuck? How can you get stuck on a hill, dude? Come on. I don't know. I think I sprained my ankle. All right, but if you're playing around, I'm going to beat you to a pulp. Roger, hurry. There's something out there. Dude, I'm here. I'm coming. Come on. <sighs> All right. Come on. <laughs> Well, it ain't John Wayne. Roger, man, are we dreaming? I don't even know what's going on, man. <laughs> no. Mel, quit scaring my grandkids. They're from the big city, Los Angeles. <laughs> so take it easy on them. It looks like it's gonna pour in a few minutes, and I'm missing out on my beauty sleep. You guys going somewhere? You better get going. Come on, Mel. <laughs> So, uh, Grandpa, you got a license for that thing? <laughs> a license? Heavens no. <laughs> what is it? Is it? I mean, is it like a giant turtle? Well, Mel isn't a turtle. I, I, no, I, I, I've looked for a species everywhere. He's a tortoise uh, from Galapagos, I think. I've looked in every book and magazine I could find. I can't find a species anywhere, but uh, I think they're extinct, actually. And, uh, but besides, tortoises can't swim. You, so. uh, you really don't know what that thing is, do you, Grandpa? No. No, I don't. Maybe he's a tortosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe you're an idiotosaurus. <laughs> is he dangerous? No, not if he likes you. What does he eat, Grandpa? Whatever and whenever he wants. How much does he weigh? Plenty. Where'd you get him, Grandpa? Oh, 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 wait a minute. It's getting late and I'm calling it a day, okay? You can ask all your questions later. Here, give me a hand up, well. Ah, a boy. Hey, see you later. Okay. Get to Good bed night. now. Good night, Grandpa. Right. Good night. Night, night. night. What are you doing? Just making sure Dr. Murray doesn't have any more weird pets around here. Welcome to the Marines. Hey, there's your orange juice, syrup. You do it. You do it. Roger, quick! What, what's the matter, you guy? Mm. Well, well, it's about time you got here. Yeah, it's Mel, fellas. Hey, look it up here. Uh, Mel eats pancakes. Oh, he loves them. <laughs> That's his favorite food. Come on, Travis, eat. That's amazing. Now be careful of him now. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't take to everybody, but he sure makes a good pet. What, like a dog wasn't good enough for you? Jeez, these people around here must think you're loco with a pet like this. Well, loco or not, it's nobody's business. Mel doesn't take the strangers, and neither do I. So we won't talk about Mel to anyone. Understood? 
Like I care. Our lips are sealed. <laughs> Let's eat. Come on, boys, I want to show you something. Come on, Melvin. You got to work off some of those pancakes. We're going to have a little exercise, all right? <sighs> all right. Come on, now, you know the old stuff. You boys can join in, too, if you'd like, you know. All right, here we go. Remember, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. Mel, aren't you going to exercise? <laughs> oh, come on, Mel. Come on, you love to exercise. Come on, you got to work off some of those pancakes, buddy. Here we go. All together. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, close the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. I'll be damned. Henners, quick, 12 o'clock. So it's only 11.15. Stop being such a wise ass. Just look right over there. Nice kids. Nice kids? Kind of reminds me of me and my brother. Who, a little. You don't see what I see? No, just a couple of kids. I should call him. It's been a while. Don't matter. I saw it. I hate apples. Apples, they make me sick. If I eat one more green apple, gonna turn into a hick. Hey, Elvis. Not bad. <laughs> Actually, the name's Roger. And, uh, you know, I play in a rock band in L.A. This is nothing. Oh, well, I'm Susie. So what's a rock star singer like you doing in parts like this? Oh, well, I'm uh, staying with my grandpa. I didn't know Bill had grandkids. <laughs> There's probably a lot about Bill you don't know. Mm. So, so, um, what do you do around here for fun? You ride? Like Mr. Ed. Having a little trouble back there? I'm just, you know, keeping it real, that's all. Hey, you wanna, you wanna go to the mall later? I was thinking about getting a tattoo, you know? On those skinny arms? I wouldn't go to Bailey's mall if he paid me anyways. No one seems to like this Bailey guy. Would you like him if he was trying to take away your land? He's trying to turn this place into Baileyville. See what I mean? That sucks, you know? That just sucks. Because I'm really starting to appreciate the simpler things in life, you know? The, the sky, uh, the ground, the, the grass, the trees here, that, that, that shed over there, you know? It's just, everything is so beautiful here. Kind of like you. Well, you better appreciate something else, Hollywood. That's poison ivy. I knew that, you know, just um, pointing it out. Watch out, that's poison ivy right there. Here you go, Mom. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> Most unimpressive. You are not a Jedi yet. Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Very impressive. May the Force be with you. Looks like Bailey struck again. This used to be Fogarty's ranch. That devil. Hey, look at that truck. Look at that. God, this thing's crazy. Look at this. Come here. Oh, man, it's got to be 100 years old. <laughs> Let's get in, huh? No. Why? That's not such a good idea, Lou. Why not? Come on. No, really. Come on, get in. Get in. Fine. Come on. It's, uh, it's kind of cozy, isn't it? Oh, my God, we're moving. Get the brakes. They're not working. They're not working. Oh, my God. Let's go. It 
just hit the fan, son, and you're standing in front of it. Like I told you, Sam, I'm taking full responsibility. Just send me a bill and I'll pay for the damages. That ain't good enough, Sheriff. I want them both arrested. But Mr. Silverwood, sir. This was an act of terrorism. I might even go as far as to say it was an act of conspiracy. The boy's a minor. And Bill here, he's willing to pay for any damages. Well, you go ahead and have it your way, Sheriff. I'll get my justice one way or another. Keep your eye out on that boy, will you, Bill? Yeah. Roger, your kind of behavior is unacceptable in these parts. Well, I thought you didn't dig Bailey or whatever. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy another man's property. So I, I guess you're gonna tell Mom and Dad, huh? I handle my own affairs, son. But this will not happen again. No. Understood? Look, Grandpa, it was an accident, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You go get washed up. We'll have dinner. You know, I, I can't remember when the last time we, well, we had dinner together. This is wonderful. I know. It is. Hmm. You know, um, well, I mean, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be nice if we could just have a little summer vacation together with the boys and, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> <laughs> well, who says we can't? Oh, come on. I mean, let's do something crazy, really? huh? Let's do something really <laughs> crazy. Let's get in the car. Let's drive up there to your dad's place. And we'll surprise the boys. Oh. Now you're sounding like the man I married. Yeah. So, one sec, one sec. Let me see. Yeah. When did that happen? Hey, what's the hold up, boys? We're only gonna go into town, you know. The guys are like a couple of old ladies. We're coming, we're coming. Keep your shirt on. Mm. Who's that? <laughs> are you kidding? That's your mom. Mom rode a horse? Like the wind. She was a four-time state champ. <laughs> the only thing mom rides now is her Mercedes, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd she leave? Well, like everyone else in this world, she wanted to follow her dreams. <laughs> but she loved this place. Yeah, she loved this place. <sighs> well, come on, will you? Let's go. Let's move it. Come on. Man, Roger, this swanny stuff is a trip. That's all, Paul. That's not bull. I seen Swanee with my own eyes. You did? I was out fishing on Swanson Lake with my son when all of a sudden our boat started to violently rock. We could hardly hold on. Then this giant grotesque creature appears out of nowhere. And just when I thought we was goners, the shaking stopped and Swanee disappeared without a trace. Wow, maybe there is something to that legend. <laughs> yeah, right, Travis. The Titanic's a true story. The Titanic is a true story. And so is Swanee. Oh, Raj, come here. Come on, dude, let's get out of here, seriously. Come on, dude, oh. Grandpa's waiting. I'm telling you. Mel is Swanee. All right. All right, then what about those pictures at the store? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Matlock. No, what pictures? What pictures? 
We are not leaving this table until you come clean. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? Yeah, Grandpa, tell us what's going on. All right, all right, I knew it was coming to this. I'm only going to tell you once, and only once, and I don't want you to interrupt. I was out fishing on Swanson Lake one day, and night started coming on. So I started rowing for shore, and suddenly I collided with a huge creature. And I, I looked around, and, and uh, I could see that the creature was caught in a big fish net. So I, I just couldn't stand by to watch him die, so I dove in to help him. You, you dove in? Are you crazy? You're damn right I'm crazy. And don't interrupt! But when I came face to face with the most incredible creature I've ever seen in my life, I knew I had done the right thing. It was a struggle, but I finally got him loose. Wow, that's amazing. Well, on the way home, I sensed something was following me. It was strange, like I'd look over my shoulder, nothing there, but yet something was following me, and bam! There was Mel. He had found a home in my lake. <laughs> There's a lot of hunters that give their right arm to capture Mel. Especially Bailey Silverwood. Only with him, it's a, an obsession. Well, why, Grandpa? Oh, he claims that Mel gave him that scar, and not that he didn't deserve it. <laughs> um, one question. Why do you call him Mel? Well, uh, he reminded me of a big whale, so I named him after Melville, the writer of Moby Dick. Oh. Well, you could have just called him Dick. <laughs> Wash the dishes. Come on, wash the dishes. <laughs> Call him <a> Dick. <laughs> hey. Well, if it isn't the Terminator, thanks for a great first date. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you need any help here? No, I don't need any more trouble. Look, I, I came by to say I was sorry. Okay. Well, I think you should leave. Can I show you something first? Please, it'll only take a minute. What is it, more vandalism? No, it's, it's, uh, well, I can't explain it here. I really can't. You're gonna just, you have to see it. I swear it'll only take a minute. Fine. It's just right up here. Here you go. What are we looking for? This way, it's this way. It's your seat. This is so stupid, I'm going. No, come on. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, okay, just, just slow down, okay? This, this is what I wanted to show you. This, this is Mel. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I know you dig it. Well, it looks scary. Can I touch it? Sure you can. Come on, come right in here. Just. But he's cool. He really is. Don't worry about it. Well, wait a second. Could this be what I think it is? But how did it ever get here? Yeah, it's it's a long it's a long story. But uh, look, you have to you have to promise me you cannot tell anybody about this. Well, I swear. What do you want, Bailey? Well, I'm just wondering if you've come to your senses about your property, Bill. I can't prove it was you, Bailey. But it's gonna take more than a hole in the roof or a few threats to scare me off my land. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Bill. But you are getting in the way of my plans. And this is one battle I don't intend to lose. This will be my land. You get the hell off my property or you'll be eating buckshot! You're starting a war, Bill. You heard him. He threatened me. Let's go.
Feast your eyes on one of the wonders of the world, my boy, Swanson Lake. My father used to bring me up here when I was a boy. I used to bring your mom up here. Mom was here? Oh, sure, she loved the place. Oh, we used to sneak away every chance we had. Hey, hey, Grandpa, <laughs> you see that down there? Is that a truck? Uh, probably some city slickers taken in the easy way. What, you mean we could have driven to the lake? Grandpa, don't people wonder what happened to Swanee? Nah, but people claim they see him every day. Race you to the lake. All right, I'll give you five. One, two, five! Kids can't even count. Son of a... We meet again. <laughs> How long does this take? Shh. You're giving the fish a headache. Hey, Grandpa, doesn't Mel miss Swanson Lake? Yeah, maybe so. He probably got tired of being hunted all the time, you know? Hey, Grandpa. Huh? Grandpa, I think I got something. Uh-oh. I got something! Easy, easy. <laughs> look, look at this. Look, I got a fish. All right. It's a fish. Hey. <laughs> All right. Look at, look at this. Oh. Look at this. I got... <laughs> Natural born fisherman. Yes, sir. Must be in the blood. <laughs> Good boy. All right. <laughs> look at that, Trevor. Look at this. All right. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right. Hey, Grandpa. How do you suppose Mel got here? <laughs> I'm gonna have to let you boys in on a little secret. See, it all started with my dad, who was a captain on a cargo ship. A captain of a ship? Yeah. Wow. And every time he came back, he used to bring me a special present. <laughs> well, on one of his trips to India, he was given a gift by a swami. A little turtle. I love that little turtle. One day I was fishing right on this very lake. <laughs> and the turtle fell overboard and disappeared. So, so what are you trying to tell us that little turtle? It grew up to be Mel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Is that true, Grandpa? You never know, boy. You never know. Hey, Hollywood. Your grandpa around? Grandpa, um, no. Him and, uh, him and Travis went to town. Oh. Bill said that I could borrow his tractor. Oh, well, uh, yeah, just go for it. Okay, yeah. thanks. Oh, hey, wait. Um, you, you need any help? You mean you want to work? Sure, why not? OK, come on.
Looks like your luck has changed, Bailey. Yep. You just dealt me my fourth ace, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Bill, I got a warrant for your arrest. My arrest? For what? Uh, trespassing, vandalism, destruction of private property uh, to the tune of uh, $250,000. Uh, you have a right to remain silent. Everything you say... Hold it, hold it, Sam. Hold it. Now, Sorry. wait a minute. You know me better than that. Sorry, Bill. I have no choice. The right witnesses have put you at the scene. And it was your tractor. <sighs> okay, okay, look. Uh, Grandpa, I'm sorry. It, it, it was me. Uh, I, I didn't knock anything down, though, I swear. Oh, yeah? So who caused all the damage? Me? <laughs> You're working overtime, hey, aren't you, Bailey? take it easy, Bill. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, boys. Take him away. No need to cuff him. Oh, d don't worry about me, boys. Uh, listen, I'll get it all straightened out. Oh, get in the house and call your mother. I'll be seeing you, boys. Real soon. I don't know, sir. It's, uh... It's just not right. I mean, it's not the old man's style. Let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Did you talk to Mom and Dad? No, I left like a million messages I can't get through. Man, I wish they were here right now. Hey, look at Mel. He looks so sad. Do you think Bailey knows about Mel? I don't I don't know, dude. We just we gotta be careful. Bill, Bill, Bill. When are you gonna come to your senses? Hmm? You can't win. I can't lose either. All right. Then um, just pay for my damages. Or you can uh, sign your property over to me. You know it wasn't me, Bailey. Yeah, I know it wasn't, Bill, but you know what? The jury's not going to see it that way, right? So. How about it? Office still good? I got nothing more to say to you. All right. Have it your way. Huh. Good strong bars, ain't they? Be ashamed to see you spend the rest of your life behind them. Oh, uh... By the way, you sure got some strange fish in that lake of yours. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. <laughs> Did you hear that? Chill out, it's probably just the rain. Got any tens? Go fish. See, there it is again. I heard that. Okay. Maybe it's a bird. I'll go check it out. See that light switch right there? Yeah. Okay. As soon as they come through the door, I'm gonna yell now. Then you hit this light, and I'll get them over the head, okay? Right. Surprise you, I guess we did, huh? Yeah. Grandpa's in jail. And Roger and right he's in the truck and Look, it's just. We're you know, hit him with the legend. Right, Wait a minute. Hey, okay. Calm okay. down, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sit down. Come on. Here we go. Now, what is this about Grandpa in jail? Counselor, when are you going to get me out of here? Listen, Bill, you know, I'm not getting any cooperation here. I mean, there hasn't even been bail set. I mean, in a small town, justice moves real slow around here. That Bailey, it's that Bailey. He's behind all this. He's got everybody in this town in his hip pocket. 
Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. So, how are they treating you, Grandpa? Oh, uh, I've seen better. <laughs> but I'm depending on you boys now to take care of things, huh? Hey, don't worry, Grandpa. Everything's under control. I'm really proud of how you guys handled things. So, um, how are you getting along with your Grandpa? It was really great. He took us camping and fishing. He even taught us how to milk a cow. Hey, well, that's something I've been meaning to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> something I'd like yeah. to see. <laughs> Sorry. Mom, Dad, look, you're not going to believe this, but uh, you've heard of the legend of Swanson Lake? Oh, please. Sure, everyone has. Well, oh, you're not going to believe this. Why don't you chill out, Travis? <laughs> you know what? Grandpa told us about uh, myths, right? You know, some people believe them, some people don't. You know how it is. It's just some people like keeping secrets, if you know what I mean. What are you, what are you boys talking about? <laughs> Swanee lives with Grandpa, only he's called Mel. What are you doing? Oh, come on, we gotta tell we him. We can't tell Why? him. Anymore. Grandpa hey. said we can. Hey, Swanee is nothing but an old myth. I wouldn't tell that to too many people around here. You gotta believe me, Dad, he's real. See, now your dad's got their heads filled with this Swanee crap. What we got here. Swanee. Flesh. I waited a long time for this moment. All right, boys. Get him out of here. Cover up this hole. Son of a. Better behave yourself. I have your head mounted up on my wall. <laughs> I win! I win. big this place is. Yeah. And how I gotta get out of the office a little more often. You sure do. Mel! 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 Well, I'm still here. Let's check the back of the house. Mel! Mel! Hi, boys. I don't get it. We looked everywhere, and he didn't even touch the apples we left for. That's a beautiful horse. What's its name? Thunder. You must be Roger's parents. Hi, I'm Susie. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. <laughs> Any luck? No, I went down to the creek and back. Still no trace of Mel. <laughs> you too, huh? <laughs> nice meeting you, Susie. Bye. Honey. Water. I need water. Something is really wrong here. Yeah. Oh, he's got himself in some real hot water here. I mean, yeah. And not only that, he's dragged the kids into it with him. I'm here with Bailey Silverwood, who claims that he has actually caught Swanee. Kyle, the what? Stu, look. Look, they caught Mel. Look. What are you talking that about? That guy, Bailey, look for yourself. Give me that. Hi there. I just want to confirm that the legend of Swanson Lake has indeed been captured by yours truly. And you can feast your eyes for the first time ever on the elusive Swanee, the beast of the Northwest, right here at the new Silverwood Amusement Park. It's gonna be Mom, a world Dad. exclusive premiere. That's why I said that we shouldn't have brought him up here in the first place. Take that. What is it? Mom, they, they, they caught Mel. That, that Bailey guy, he's, they're at the amusement park. Honey, come here. I told you before, there is no Mel or Swanee or whatever you want to call them. Well, now, Peter, maybe there's something to what they're saying. Encourage them, Bonnie. 
And we have enough problems here trying to get your crazy father out of jail. Dad, Grandpa's not crazy, all right? Come on, Travis. Come on, there's backstage. Anderson, get in here. That's right, darling. You get all the press you can. This is gonna be big. Well, is he here? About the tiger, sir. You do have my tiger. I was thinking maybe Thompson, he's free. He could hit it in, in, in the end of the I don't want Thompson. I want you to personally take care of that tiger for me. But, but sir, the, 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 the tiger's big. Honey, help your brother with this. Well, what am I supposed to do? Help him undo it. Move Eat your hands. Move your hands. OK, watch. Hello. Hey, I'm back. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I thought Goldberg was handling that. Oh, oh come on. Can't it wait? Uh-huh, yeah, I know. Well, I got a little bad news. A little emergency's come up at the office. I'm gonna have to be back there by tomorrow afternoon. End the business. Dad, you can't leave. Hey, we need your help. Don't worry about it, Travis, man. We can manage. Why should this time be any different? Hey, what am I supposed to do, huh? I mean, this is an emergency. It's come up. This is very important. What's going on down there? I mean, they have Mel in this cage, and he looks horrible. Yeah, the thing is, Bailey's claiming he caught Mel with his own bare hands. And they're having a big grand unveiling tomorrow. So. That skunk. He's gone too far this time. Where did I get my hands on him? Well, Mel's not going to last long, Grandpa. What are we going to do? Well, I can't do anything while I'm in here. But you boys can. And I'll tell you how to do it. Come on, boys. Rise and shine. It's getting late. Roger? Roger? Peter, honey, the boys are gone! Yeah, hi, uh, Matt Henderson is needed at the theater immediately. Could you please page him? Okay, thanks. Yeah. cages on there, so go get Mel. Me and Susie, we're gonna meet you by the exit by the train, okay? Ernie's supposed to meet us there around three, so. Ernie will meet us there at three, he's never late. Okay, okay, so he's gonna meet us at three, so hurry up, dude, we're gonna be waiting on you. Go, go. All right, good luck, guys. Here, throw these in the back.
ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, for the past 75 years, this great beast has eluded the world's most famous hunters. And when I came here, I made a promise to you. The good people of this great state <laughs> that I, Bailey Silverwood, would capture Swanee for you, alive. Now today, I fulfill that promise. So without further ado, I give to you the legend, Swanee. <laughs> What the hell? Hanson! Get up here! Uncle Bailey. Somebody stole Swanee! Oh, well, you picked a heck of a time. Uh. You find him. Now. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Matt Henderson, head of security. My golf cart has been... Never mind that. Train station, 10 minutes, back up. I'll be on foot. Come on, Mel. Hey, there he is. Come on, Mel. Come on, Mel. Okay. You gotta do the okay, exercise. right, what is it? One, two, uh, up on my shoe. shoe. Three, four, close the door, door five, six. six. Pick up sticks. Six. Pick up right. sticks. Pick up sticks. Pick up sticks. Okay. Good boy. There we go. It's right. under. It's, it's under. It's under. All right, it's good. Come on. You know, I'm never gonna make it through that gate. Go open it. Go open there it. Are Swanee back. First, you clean yourself up. Tuck that shirt. We got a dress code around here. Henderson! Congratulations, Ernie. You are now the official driver of the legend of Swanee. So is that thing really Swanee? Yeah. Well, known to his close friends as Mel. Mm. Whoa! Hey, Mel. Well, sorry, guys. It's as far as I can go. Hey, don't worry about it, man. We'll just uh, take the trail down to Swanson Lake. You sure about that? Hey, no mission's impossible, right? <laughs> Any of you guys ever been on that trail before? Sure, man. Just a piece of cake. What's going on, Lou? There's a wreck at Possible Junction. Emergency room rest for a tow truck. I'll be right there.
Well, I gotta get going. You guys sure you know what you're doing? Hey, no problemo. Yeah, thanks, Rainy Man. What y'all you want? Just remember to stick to the trail. <sighs> My fugitives are burning daylight. Come on. Come on, Mel. Come on, Mel. Come on, Mel. Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Any luck? I couldn't find the voice anywhere. All right. Well, I've been avoiding this, but I think it's time we call the police. I agree, sweetie. You know, it's hard to believe that this was being billed as the event of the century because it will no doubt be remembered as Bailey's Big Bust. A crowd of thousands were left with their Swanee flags at half-mast when it was revealed that the legend of Swanson Lake was nothing more than this tiger. Now, Mr. Silverwood is claiming tonight that the real Swanee was stolen right out from the arms of his army of security guards. And that, my friends, is a claim that a lot of people are finding hard to believe. I don't believe this. They would. And they couldn't. They did. They did. <sighs> what? All right, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know what's going on anymore, okay? But we got to get to the bottom of this. All right, look. Fine, cancel my flight. Oh, I knew you wouldn't let the boys down. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Bill. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll check with the neighbors. No, I already checked with the neighbors. All right, I'll cancel your flight. Cancel my flight. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Bailey, I really can't do that. Just get it done. A statement, sir, I'm gonna need a statement. Here's my statement. You don't get swanted back for me in 24 hours, you're gonna be a night watchman in that lumber yard. Again. You know, it's hard to believe, but I tracked down the Flegmers earlier this afternoon, and here's what they had to say. Well, what, what I seen was this. It looked like a, some sort of prehistoric Jurassic turtle pushing a tow truck. Well, well I, what I seen was, uh, was an alien disguised as a turtle. Well, now, now, you'll have to excuse my brother Clem. He got the brain. God gave up a peanut. He came down to make friends with all the Earth turtles so he could bring them back to his alien planet so he could eat them. Because they eat them up there, I think. Did either one of you see the driver of the tow truck? Oh, I believe it was Ernie Clark. It was, it was the Clark boy, Ernie. Best tow truck driver in the county. Excellent driver, very good, excellent driver. I should have known Swanson Lake. Oh, note, note, leave a note. Swanson Lake. Um, Okay. Now listen to me, Phil. You are gonna have to help me help you. Now the kids are missing, and this Swanee has been stolen. Now I want you to tell me what's going on. So <laughs> I knew they got some colored blood in them. Hold it right there, Ernie. Get out of the truck, Ernie, slowly. Now, don't try anything funny. Just tell me where you took Swanee. Um... Hey, guys, can we stop? I'm kind of getting tired. So's Mo. Yeah, we can stop right here. I mean, this would be a perfect place for camp. We've got rocks, build a fire. This would be great. Yeah, and I found some berries back there so I can go pick them. Cool, I'll help you out. Oh, uh, Travis, try to fire, dude. All right. Come on, Mel. Let's go start a fire. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie. These berries we picked are really good. Yeah, it's just hope they're not poisonous. They're not poisonous. I've been eating them my whole life, and I'm still alive. Mmm, these are good. Man, these are delicious. Oh!
Guys, come on, I could have been dying. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you guys. <laughs> and just think, I thought this place wasn't gonna be cool. Hey, I'm glad I was wrong. I'm cold, I'm gonna go get some more firewood. No, no, Susie, sit down, sit down. Travis, go get some wood, dude. Go get some wood. Yes, Will Robinson. Hey, thanks. For what? Well, you know, for uh, helping with mail and, you know, <laughs> everything. I mean, it's just been really great meeting you. No, it's no big deal. I mean, you're Bill's grandkids. <laughs> so is that the only reason you're hanging out with me? No. Just some creatures of the night. How to get to Swanson Lake. Are you kidding? You'd never make it there without me. A big city lawyer get lost in those woods in five minutes. <laughs> you just get me out of here and we'll get those kids back. <clears throat> okay, you're ready <clears throat> for the last time. Where did you take Swanee? I don't know what you're talking about. I can see we're going nowhere over here. Did you know kidnapping is a federal offense? I got it. Sheriff's office. Where? You say there's, there's been an accident? No, 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 just, just, just calm down now. Just calm down. Nice and easy. Now, hold on. Some tourists picked up one of those boys walking on I-16, said there's been an accident. Said your sister Susie's been hurt, and she needs medical attention immediately. Anything happens to your sister, it's gonna be on your head, boy. Now, where do we send those paramedics? Tell them, Ernie. Tell him. Swanson Lake. Come on, wake up, buddy. Come on. How you doing? Guys, wake up. Travis, wake up, dude. What? Mel doesn't look so hot. He looks like he's gonna die. No, he's not. Come on, help him up. Let's go. Come on, Mel. We're gonna get you up, okay, buddy? Come on, Mel. Come on. Come on. How's the view up there, Mr. Silverwood? Andrew, this ain't no sightseeing trip. You find him and you find him quick. Over now. We're on our way, sir. It's an amazing view, Uncle Bailey. And such an eye-opener. Bailey, look. What? My house. I can see my house. New gutters, see? The roof needs some fixing, though. What are you on, drugs? You find Swanee. Roger! Hold up, guys. We found a campfire, sir. It's still warm. Uh, they can't be too far ahead. All right, come on, boys. Let's fan out. Look, dude, it's water. Right. 
Look at that, Mel. Look, um, there's water right down there. Uh, Roger, that looks kind of steep, man. Yeah, how are we gonna get him down there? I got an idea. I got an idea. Travis, get on top. Susie, Susie, come back here and help me. Mel, I need you to put your feet in for me, okay, buddy? Okay, get ready to push. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Turn around, Mom. No, push him. Okay, okay, look. Susan, get on that. Get help him. Okay. Come on, Mom. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on. Pull. Go. Come on. Come on, Mom. There they are. Come on. All right, there's the heat. Come on, guys. Andrew, he gets into that river. We're going to lose him. You cut him off now. Come on, Mel. Your life depends on it. Pull. Oh. Man, no, but come on. Heck of a point. What's it for? Tranquilizer, dark. Moron. Hold still now. Bailey up there, he's shooting at us. Take this thing down close if I get a better shot. We surrender! We surrender! No! She ran you. Oh, no, Mom, what are you talking about? Hold your fire, Mrs. Silverwood. No, we're we not surrendering. No. Mom, we no, no. Can't. there's nothing else we can do. Drag us down. Take him, Andrew. Take him now. Hey, hold it right there. Jeff. Wait a minute. Arrest these women. I'm doing. You boys in a bunch of trouble now. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey, honey, are you hey, it's about time for your head to go up on my wall. Oh. Oh. I grabbed the headed for the falls. Just to happen. Yeah, but Roger, on our next date, 
Can we go to uh, dinner and a movie instead? <laughs> you had yourself a deal. Mel, you're the best! <laughs> and now I have to go to church. Oh, oh, Mel, you're dead! Oh. <laughs> you're <can fly. laughs> a great job. Good job, Mel. Technicality. Uh. Here, Bailey. Bailey, grab this. I don't need you. Come on, grab it. Damn it, grab it. Grab that thing. Why are you doing this, Bill? I... Just because I can't stand and watch a man die. Uh. Come on, grab it. Get up here. Uh. Up. Uh. Come on, up. Uh. Up. Uh. Come on. Uh. Get up. Get up, boy. Oh, that lamp. Put it in the barn. If I'd known you had such bad taste, I'd have never invited you to come up here. <laughs> You're not going to believe this house when I'm done with it. You don't touch anything in that house, and it's good to have you back home. Well, it's good to be back home, Dad. <laughs> well, that's about it, boys. Come on, pack your bags. We're going to Swanson Lake. Oh, oh right. my! Hey, you can't go up there without me. Hey, the boys will show me the way. Are you kidding? Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Let's have trouble. Better get inside, boy. What is it, Bailey? I'm not too good at this, Bill. So I'll just get down to it. Just came by to let you know that all charges have been dropped. You don't have to worry about your property no more. You ain't gonna see no more construction around here, neither. Give you my word. Also, I I'd like to thank you. For saving my life. Like I've always said, I know there's some good in every man. Pleasure to meet you, Bailey. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Day. See you around. Yes, sir. Let's go, nephew. Yes, sir. Good night, boys. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Dad. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mel. Good night. Won't you tell me what's the matter with me? Is it something that I just can't see in the mirror when I look at myself? Cause I'm real confused if that's a word to describe it. I'm a normal hard working guy. Life's a man I better get in by in the world. Not a Please tell me if you know what's the matter with me. I need to know what's the matter with me. If there's a problem, I can fix it, you see. My life's a puzzle, there's a missing a piece. Or so I've been told. Come on at me from my TV. Some guy with a get rich scheme preaching at me. What's the matter with me? I don't drive a Mercedes Benz. Blue collar is a crowd I'm in, and I'm happy being just who I am. No need to ask myself, nothing's wrong with me. No need to know what's the matter with me. If nothing's broken, why well, fix it, you see? Life's a puzzle for you and me. And this we know, no thanks 
don't need no help to try to outdo everybody else for the love of money. Nothing's wrong, you see. No need to know what's the matter with me. If nothing's broken, why fix it, you see? And life's a puzzle for you and me. And this we know. So no thanks, don't need no help. To try to outdo everybody else for the love of money. Nothing's wrong with you. No need to ask yourself. Nothing's wrong with you. 